you're asking for trouble if you do that. I was talking to a friend of mine, an M7, I'm not going to name him, and uh, he told me, <laughs> he told me a little story. He actually told me this over the air, so it's not a private story. Uh, but if he wants to name himself in the comments, then, then carry on. But he told me he was, he went out portable and uh, he called CQ on one of the higher bands and he got this massive pile up. It just came from nowhere. He wasn't expecting it. Obviously, he was like, brilliant, you know, fantastic. But when you first get a pile up, it's very hard to control all the people calling in. You can get overwhelmed and you, you know, you get a bit hot and sweaty and you're like, oh my God, you just want to run away, basically. It really is like that. And, uh, and he said to me that he'd, you know, he told people, he was like, you know, calm down, please wait for me to call QRZ, blah, 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 blah. And uh, he said even this, this American chap also called in and had a, you know, had a little pep talk with him and said, you're doing a great job. Uh, you know, just calm down, take it slow, work at your own pace and, uh, and just stay calm. You'll be fine. And uh, which was fantastic. And he, he was absolutely loving it, don't get me wrong, but it was just getting really stressed out with people calling over each other, not, not waiting for him to call QRZ and all this sort of stuff, the usual, the usual sort of stuff. So in this video, I thought I'd address how I deal with those things. And there's a few key, very simple ways to deal with it that I've discovered uh, purely by accident. And I, think, and, uh, I thought you might like to hear them. So, let me just play this, because I was just watching Morton, LB0FI. I'm sure he won't mind me playing this little clip. He's just posted a video. I'll put a link to his channel and the video in the description. And uh, this is what prompted me to make this video. It's been a video I've been wanting to make for a little while now, but I just haven't got around to it. And this really did push me over the edge to make the video. And the second reason is my antenna's blown over again. The 40 metre dive pole's broken on the other end now. <laughs> so it's either go outside and fix that or stay in, in the nice and warm and, and make a, uh, a video. So let me just switch to this other screen. I'm just gonna do a screen grab here of YouTube. And here's Morton, LB0FI. And this is the intro to his latest video. All stations, all stations, please, please, don't talk on top of my QSOs. That will make me turn off the radio, okay? I have already activated the park, so I do not need to do this. It's minus 17 degrees outside and not that comfortable. And if it's not fun, I sh for sure won't do this. Well, we've all been there, and fair play to Morton. You know, I watched this whole video, and uh, great activation. You've got to consider here, uh, he's in minus, I don't know what it is, but it's minus a lot of degrees. It's freezing cold. He's uncomfortable. He's agitated anyway because of that. And obviously, people misbehaving, if you like, in his pileup have just pushed him over the edge. So, yeah, I completely get where Morton's coming from. But my response to this is... The half of the people that are calling in on your pileup who are not waiting for you to call QRZ don't speak English, frankly, and they have no idea what he's just said. They've got no idea. He, they just think he's having a rag chew with the person he's just contacted. So if you imagine when you hear a foreign station, you don't speak that language and you hear them having a longer QSO than normal, you haven't got a clue what they're talking about. You just wait for them to say QRZ and then it's business as usual. The fact that he, they might have been just having a big rant about people not waiting to call QRZ has gone completely over your head because you don't understand it. And probably 80% of the people on Morton's frequency at that time have no idea what he's just said. So it has no effect at all on you know helping this situation. So that's, that's my re reaction. If this is a reaction video. Jesus, I've done a reaction video. That's my reaction to this. Okay, so I found this QSO that I had with Callum, DX Commander, a couple of weeks ago. He was 10 watts, I was 10 watts. I was calling QRP, so people were calling in to try and make a QRP contact on 40 meters. Now, the reason I'm showing this QSO is because it's the best example of how he mirrored what I was doing. I will always say over at the end of my over, or another word that means over. I will make it crystal clear that I've stopped talking. Unless it's somebody that I talk to all the time on the radio and I mean like every day such as Darren M0 uh, DCX or, or your other people Kev M0 KCV I've been I've known those guys for you know, a year two years three years in some cases so I'm a bit more familiar with them I know 
how they end their sentences and the, their tones and their voice that kind of you know let you know that they've stopped talking but with random people i have no idea and some people leave gaps between sentences and then carry on talking and lo and behold they're doubling and nobody likes that do they it really pisses me off when people leave a sent leave a gap between sentences and and then at the end of it they don't even say over you know so you're still waiting for two three seconds for the next sentence and there isn't one <laughs> and everyone's left hanging it drives me potty this is how you should do it when you call in Right, notice that Cow has said over there. Now, when if you watch Callum's live streams, he doesn't always say over. Uh, he has a very different style to me, and I'm not knocking his style. You know, everyone does their own thing, but he's mirrored my style, and he's been listening for probably half an hour or more, probably since the beginning of the stream, and he's realised that I will always say over. So he's called in on this first over at the end he said over okay i'll put m3 mcx in the comments and i'll put m0 uh, m did you say m0 mcx cap uh cap that's right can you just head off to the 70 meters at coax over yeah you're five and five five and five and i think the needle's being a bit lazy on this yesu I, I, I run it in ipo mode so no preamp and i'm sure it's lazy in that mode but uh, yeah i'm certainly handing out lower reports than i seem to be getting back so five five cow over right notice on the previous when i passed back to him i didn't say over but i said cow so that's another good way of ending an over uh, what about you cow or something like that it's almost you're almost inferring saying over when you do it like that but obviously if you say somebody's uh, name mid-sentence that doesn't always work but you know i've spoken to callum enough times he knows what i meant yeah you jumped up to five nine on the peak that over so <laughs> you certainly noticed the difference in the headphones uh cow uh, thanks for the call mate over See, notice there I said cow, and then I carried on talking. Now, based on the... I screwed up there, really, if we're going to be critical, because based on the previous handback, that was... I didn't say over, so I just said cow. And on this one, I said cow, and then I carried on talking. So I'm contradicting myself, but this is a perfect example of where cow's doing it right, and I'm cocking up. Yeah, all the way up. Shut back down again. Five foot out. But anyway, I hope that serves as a good example of why I always say over normally, <laughs> unless I get thrown off a little bit. Yeah, that's basically why I always say over or something else. Now, the main thing I want to get to here is, let me switch back to this screen. The main thing is when you say 7-3 to somebody, never ever, if you've got a lot of people calling, never ever say 7-3. You're asking for trouble if you do that. Say seven three over, or, or best seven three your final, or best seven three round few for any final comments. Never ever end or hand back with just seven three because everyone else on that frequency they don't hear seven three they hear QRZ, and you can't get angry at the people in the pileup if you have handed back or just said seven three because you've got to remember half the people on the frequency can't hear the guy you're talking to especially if you're dxing they don't know who you're talking to they can't hear it all they've heard is seven three you can't expect the other people to wait uh, for that other guy to hand back to you and finish talking because they can't bloody hear him you know it's as simple as that they can't hear him so never ever say seven three just say seven three over that's why I always say 7-3 over, 7-3 your final, 7-3 round few for the final, whatever. I will never ever end by saying 7-3. And in fact, if you listen back to my live streams where I've had mad pileups, and I'm not just talking about into G, I'm talking about into Europe and stuff. There's been a couple of occasions mid pileup where I accidentally just said 7-3 and it was crazy. It was a prime example of me cocking up by not saying over. So over, is the magic word always say over and all your problems will be gone you're always going to get the exception to the rule there's always, there's always going to be some arsehole that won't shut up you know <laughs> but my philosophy is 
let them keep calling for three or four overs, ignore them, and then I will, if they just won't shut up, I will bring them in and get rid of them. But that's more because they're just annoying me and annoying everyone else on the frequency as well. But I will never acknowledge them straight away. Never ever acknowledge somebody that breaks in mid QSO or before you, if they, if they, if you are the sort of person that says QRZ every time and somebody breaks in before you've said QRZ, ignore them. Make sure you always say QRZ because if the one time you don't, you've just sent a message to everybody on that frequency, it's a free for all. He doesn't say QRZ now, it doesn't matter. I can just start calling in as soon as, as soon as I feel like it because he's broken the rules now and uh, he's basically made it a free for all. So that's my tips. Always stay over, always say QRZ. If you break those rules, then you bring it on yourself, quite frankly, and you deserve everything you get. <laughs> All the best, seven free, thank you. <laughs>